Hey all, this is part three. And keep in mind that everything that we just did for accessing an object's value is going to be very similar to what we do for a lot of things related to objects, especially reassigning a property, uh, deleting one later. Uh, provided you can access the value, that tends to give you everything that you need. And in terms of ways to access the value, check out the previous video if you're having any difficulty with that. Uh, hopefully you'll be able to sort it out. Uh, so arrays and objects are both mutable, meaning that if we want to reassign something inside them, we can just use that uh, assignment operator. Uh, that is what happens if you hit tab by accident. So if we copy that, I'm not sure if it actually copied it, so we'll see. It did. So we've got an object, first month January, second month March, third month March, which if you've been watching since the array section, you'll realize that a lot of these are just sort of like array problems that I grabbed and turned into objects. But anyway, <clears throat> so we're going to log the object before the reassignment, and then we're going to say object at second month is equal to February. So we'll run this, and it's looking good. So here's a couple of things that we could do. We could say use dot notation here. We could just say object.secondMonth is equal to February, and that's going to do the same thing that we just did. Uh, and this is in the case that we know the exact name of the key. So with that in mind, let's come back. And now we've got a couple of variables to sort of make things a little bit more complicated and some, and you know, kind of a, what'd you say, model what's going to go on in a function. So we've got a user, their ID is 12, their favorite superhero is Superman, their name is Jane Whoever. Uh, we're going to log the console, the user before the reassignment, and then we're going to say on line 8, the key to correct is favorite superhero, and the new favorite superhero is Batman. So to make a reassignment, we're going to say the name of the object, at the name of the key to correct, or a variable representing the name to key to correct, uh, is equal to new favorite superhero. So on line 12, we're going to say after reassignment, then we'll run this. So before the reassignment, their favorite superhero was Superman. After the reassignment, their favorite superhero is Batman. Uh, one thing we're going to do real quick is we're going to show what happens if we say dot notation here uh, incorrectly. And what's going to happen is, is that we're not going to make a reassignment. We're actually just going to add another key that's specifically called key to correct. So again, underlining the idea of dot notation versus bracket notation when we're using a variable or using an actual name of a key that we want. So with that in mind, let's come back and do our coding challenge. We're going to complete a function that takes three parameters, an object, a string, uh, an object, a string key, and a new value, and returns the object after performing a reassignment. Your function should reassign the property's value within the object located at the string key to the new value parameter and then should then return the newly changed object. Below is an example of the code running. Assuming that you will have completed the described function, reassign a property. Seems relatively straightforward. Let's go ahead and copy our stub, copy our test case. And okay, so reassign a property's value in the object is going to be this simple as accessing the object at the key that we want to change and reassign it to be new value. Then it wants us to return the input object, simple enough. So previously we had name Ramsey's favorite food is chicken, his type is a dog, and we're going to change his favorite food to be goose. So should have replaced chicken with goose, and it did. Excellent. So let's copy our newly completed function and paste it in the input window. And that fries our onion rings. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one.